Hi, this is Infraredi. Just going to show you how to set the white balance up on the Panasonic HC V180. So, white balance is quite important when it comes to filming with a full spectrum camera. A lot of the appearances of uh, movies that are filmed with infrared light are either orange, red, and purple. So, that hue uh, it, it can actually bury all or blanket actual red colours so if you can imagine the sensor on your camera um, and each pixel as you probably know it's got a red green and a blue pot and each of those fill up um, and mix accordingly to give the, the coloured lights that we usually see when it's converted to full spectrum uh, the sensor works a bit differently and because we remove the filter that um, reflects the infrared light and gives a balancing appearance and the colours that we see as I suggest it, it makes the camera react a little bit different so when you're using infrared light it's basically flooding the red pot and the green and the blue pots are empty so if you do see any red light it'll be diluted as such within the, the red colour or the purple colour that you see on the screen so we advise all, all users to set white balance and on our camcorders the advanced ones you get a custom white balance setting that allows you to do that so I'd like to take advantage of that you can't access the custom white balance setting in auto mode so you'll have to follow a process and go into a manual settings of the camera so on this particular camera um, you can see there's a, a press button at the minute, I'll just flick it into Intelligent Auto. So you have to press this button to flip it into Manual. So when it's in Manual, you will see the Manual indicator in the corner. So I'll just uh, get out of the main menu. So right, when you're in this setting, if we turn it off, uh, the light off now, look at the... Uh, the light you can see we've got that bluey purple appearance so I want to show you how to rectify that so I'll just turn the light on so it's a bit clear for you to see so if we press the enter button uh, you get this little menu system upon on the right so uh, we've got different settings so that's a shutter setting at the minute we can go back um, at the bottom you'll basically see it says uh, four or five so you can go through the different menus so you want to go to menu four stroke five and at the top you'll see WB so when you go to WB um, you can flick through these different settings so you can see it changing in normal light we'll try and locate that button and you can see it changing as we go through the options also in uh, of the small infrared illuminator we've got on right so the setting that you're looking for is uh, you'll see at the top that you've got the cloudy you've got a uh, like incandescent and tungsten what we're looking for is this flashing it's like a little envelope so when that envelope's flashing you can see that indicator just there too so that's suggesting we need to push up so if we push up it'll actually set the white balance but we need to do that whilst the camera's paired with the infrared illuminator to take full benefit and to set it up into to full spectrum recording to yield a monochrome appearance so see we'll see at the minute um we've got like this we've only got a weak infrared light but if we push up to take the white balance setting you'll see now that the colors are, are far more balanced so that's the way to uh to set up the recorder to suit okay hopefully find that beneficial and useful 
um, I would suggest it's better to film uh, your footage in a in like a monochrome then it doesn't hide the different colours when you flip back to normal light because it's a full spectrum camera um, if you do want to correct the colours a little bit more uh, under normal light or daytime light you just take that white balance reading again and you'll see the colours pop back to a more natural natural look so just a bit of a shutter there this is changing the shutter speed as well you can see that the minute it's one thirtieth of a second so that's actually closing the shutter down um, you can see I've opened up now so when I, uh, if I go back into the white balance mode it'll probably work a bit better now um, there we go so you can see it's purple and now I'll flip it now and take a reading and you'll see it pop into more natural colours so you'll see the little light on my laptop whilst we're getting a, a black and white type of effect you'll see that it's actually picking up ambient colours as well so they'll stand out a lot clearer okay thanks for watching